Okay, this one's another very special bit of mine um, because I really like this mouthpiece. Um, it's unique to the Milers. This is the MB36, and it's the forward tilt ported barrel. So you can see here, it's got this little port, and it, the port is tilted forward at a 45 degree angle. And what this bit is good for is it gives a generous amount of tongue relief when the horse is relaxed. It lays very nicely and smoothly and comfortably against the horse's tongue with room for the tongue to go underneath it. This is a great bit for a horse with a low palate because this port won't hit the palate. And then when you pull back on the reins, if I can grab both reins here. When I when you grab the reins and you pull forward, you pull backwards, the mouthpiece rotates forward and it rotates onto the tongue. So this is a great bit. And what I've used this bit for um, with horses in the past is horses who are very forward and don't have a very good stop on them. Um, and also you could use this as a regular bit for a horse that has a low palate. For instance, my pony rides in this mouthpiece, rides and drives in this mouthpiece um, as his regular bit because he has an extremely low palate. I wanted to give him some tongue relief, but he has an extremely low palate and a very small space in his mouth for a bit, so he needed something that would not interfere with his palate and yet still give him some tongue relief. So I, that's what I like to use this mouthpiece for. I can honestly say every horse I have put in this mouthpiece has liked it. It's another one of those really versatile mouthpieces that you can pretty much ride anybody in. Um, I have this in Kimberwick Cheeks. Um, I like Kimberwick Cheeks. Um, I like because they're a little more versatile than the D with hooks. You have two different rein options. So you can either do this rein option and you still have the independent side movement, but you don't have any leverage whatsoever. Or you do this option and you have a slight amount of leverage. As you can see, the purchase on this bit is this big and the quote unquote shank is only a hair bigger. So there's really not much leverage with this bit at all, but just enough that some horses really like a little more pole pressure and some horses really like a little bit of a leverage um, bit because a leverage bit um, takes the pressure that you put on the reins and it divides it into several different areas. You have the curb strap or chain. Here I have an elastic curb strap. So this is a very soft, very mild curb strap. You have pull pressure from the shanks and then you have the mouth pressure. And the pressure that you put on the rein is divided into those three areas. Now it's not divided evenly, um, but it's still divided and so it diminishes the pressure that you have on the mouthpiece. And a lot of horses really like that. So I find Kimberwick Cheeks are a very versatile option because I can, I can ride a horse up here on the snaffle rings if I have a horse that doesn't like any leverage pressure or if I have a horse that likes a little bit of leverage, I have this ring that I can ride them in. Um, this, is, this is not the exact bit, but this is the mouthpiece and cheek piece combination that my mare Beluga rode in. And I tried a whole bunch of bits on Beluga and this was the one that she liked the best. She was totally relaxed and totally comfortable in this bit. In fact, she used to ride with um, that curb strap and so I've used this on a lot of different horses and I've really liked it. Um, it's a good bit for a horse that needs a little help with stopping, needs a little help backing off the bit. Um, so a very forward horse, 
but a forward horse with a good mind that just needs a little bit of you know, reminding that, hey, you should listen to this bit. Um, I have a friend who I bitted one of her horses in this bit for her. I did, um, same thing, he's a very good-minded horse, he's a very forward horse, and sometimes he gets so forward that he forgets to listen to the bit. And so this mouthpiece, because it feels so very different to them, because this little, this nice little port rolls down onto their tongue and it feels very different to them. This gets their attention, but without being harsh. There's no pinching, there's no nutcracker effect, there's just a nice rolling motion onto the tongue as the bit rolls forward onto the tongue. And so this is a very good bit for getting a horse's attention, but in a nice, gentle way.